Hi, I've just come back from the Reiki Master Course, a week-long course I was teaching in Glastonbury, and I'm still filled with these amazing experiences that we had there. It's interesting, every time we learn something about Reiki, we feel it's such a breakthrough, and we wonder how much further this can actually go. But it can always go further. The step from Reiki 1 to Reiki 2 is a major one. The step then to eventually become a Reiki master is unbelievable. And we normally have about 20 people in a group in this beautiful place in Glastonbury Abbey House where I run the courses. And together we are on this journey of discovering basically everything that can be taught about Reiki. I don't want to say everything that can be learned about Reiki. Reiki is a lifelong journey. But the Master Course is a huge, huge step on this journey. We go through everything again that can be taught in Reiki. We go through the basics, the basic hand positions, exercises, breathing. We look at the Reiki principles again on the very first day. Not just to look at the content, but to discover that they are actually putting us on a journey of raising our energetic vibrations. They are so cleverly designed. This already is a big breakthrough, thinking this is a very smart system. It's incredible what Mikao Sui created there. We have an evening session where we introduce ourselves to each other, so it becomes a real close bonding group. And that's really important because our personal stories, and sometimes not very pleasant stories, brought us there. They brought us where we are today, and it's great to be able to share this with other people in a safe place. And people do open up step by step to other people, and really beautiful friendships form over the course of uh, this week. We then take a day looking at the Reiki symbols. The Reiki 2 symbols again, but much more deeply, in much more detail, realizing where they're coming from and how they are drawn and the power they can help us to open up to with Reiki. And then, of course, it introduces a new symbol, the master symbol. There was an attunement, and more and more we realized that Reiki is all about the light. This is what the master symbol stands for, and we spend an entire afternoon exploring this. In the evening, there is an additional workshop just to explore the different teachings of Reiki, the different traditions, get an overview of how the system of Reiki developed. Then we spent an entire morning as historians researching together the history of Reiki. We look at the few original verifiable documents, among them the memorial stone for Mikao Usui, and step by step we together try to understand it and see what this tells us about the history of Reiki, to really get a very profound knowledge of how it started and what it is all about. We also get practical, spend an afternoon doing lots of exercises, the traditional hand positions, how to teach them, and then move on to more intuitive exercises, sensing imbalances in the body, being guided by spirit, waiting for intuition, and getting the intuition. Sending Reiki with your eyes, sending Reiki with your breath. An incredible, almost psychic exercise where we get to the root cause of a problem. Then we spend an evening, for those who want, looking at the original places in Japan. I've got lots of pictures and uh, share stories about how life is today in Japan and uh, how life was at the time of Mikao Sui. And we see the original places where he lived and that have significance for the system of Reiki. And we spend a morning learning how to give attunements. It is possible everybody on this course can give an attunement afterwards. And we spend a lot of time so that everybody is really confident with that. One person is receiving the attunement, the second person is giving the attunement, the third person is coaching them through so that they really step by step internalize the whole process and, and feel how it works. And the feedback is brilliant. In fact, the whole course has so much feedback, so much interaction. It is so, so encouraging. And of course, it just stays with us. 
We also look at how to teach Reiki, the regulations in this country. Along the course, there are plenty of Reiki shares during the breaks, especially in the evening. Always there are people coming together on one or two or three treatment couches, sharing Reiki, giving each other treatments, talking through their experiences. There's a lot of spare time as well, so people can explore the beautiful grounds. The Manor House, Abbey House, built in the 1830s, is set in an amazing park with views over Glastonbury Abbey, or rather the ruins of Glastonbury Abbey. The participants have free access to the grounds of the Glastonbury Abbey ruins, so you can go there at your leisure. You can walk up to the tour, the hill, about half an hour hike with amazing views. There are lovely gardens. And of course, there's the very quirky high street in Glastonbury with amazing, slightly weird shops and great places to have a cup of tea. And this is how you can either by yourself or in little groups just walk around and reflect and relax a little bit. Everybody will get a certificate that states there are teachers and masters of Reiki now. So you can teach Reiki after this course. You have reached the highest level of training in the system of Reiki. But that's not the point. The point is that your life will be different. It will just not be the same after this course anymore. There is so much more that after this we can use, we can bring into our everyday lives. This is absolutely beautiful and um, people hardly want to leave and go back to their normal lives afterwards. The farewell on the last day is, well, it's both it's beautiful and it's, it's a bit sad, but of course we all formed friendships and we all stayed together, there are Reiki shares, and um, this just goes with us through life, these wonderful days of uh, transformation. This is such a fantastic course and I'm so impressed by um, Tostin's effort in getting into the original Reiki. It's the best experience I've ever had in my life, probably the deepest one, and it's extremely exciting. It's a journey that I would encourage any of you to do at some point. So we leave tomorrow and having Sunday afternoon blues because I could stay here for three months happily. It's such a rich, nourishing experience. I've made such lovely friends. We've gone so deep into the Reiki, I'm feeling slightly blissful all the time. Uh, I first did uh, Torsten's Reiki Master Course back in 2014. Um, it was a time when I was feeling quite lost. Um, I'd been made redundant from my work. I had no sense of direction, but somehow over the course of the Reiki Master Course, by the end, by the end of the last day, I had total clarity as to what I wanted to do, both in my personal life and in my work life. So um, I couldn't, I can't recommend the course too highly. In fact, it, it was so good that I've actually come back now in 2017 to do the Reiki Master course all over again. This the whole thing's absolutely fantastic, absolutely beautifully put together, and it's just such a joy to be here. I can't recommend it enough.